Hello YouTube, it's England Teen. This time around it's Inhumans vs. X-Men number 6, the finale to the story. And if you've already read the story and you just want the review, skip on over to the 6 minute 7 second mark and I'll meet you there. However, if you haven't read the story and you want to, just sit back, relax, and enjoy.
As much as this is going to be the opinion I have of Inhumans versus X-Men number six, I also have to say a little bit about the entire series because really I only did the beginning in this issue as far as reviewing it is concerned. And much of that has to do with the fact that I noticed a big flaw in the story right away. Now they try to get you on the, uh, both sides have a good reason to go to war. You've got culture, but the other one was life. So really you have a culture that will, by no fault of their own, kill off a race of people. So how is this in any way, shape, or form a battle where we're going to go, oh my gosh, I don't know who, who I would want to win. In this case, you want the X-Men to beat the Inhumans because the Inhumans, by their inaction, will absolutely destroy the X-Men. There's no question to this. This is what will happen if the Terrigen Mists have enough time to uh, permeate the Earth's atmosphere. So in no way, shape, or form is this any kind of story with moral ambiguity. Actually, if I would have to say the best parts of this is watching the fun ways they would try to get Magneto not to fight the Inhumans as powerful as he could be. In this one, they actually knock Magneto out using a metal spaceship. A metal spaceship knocks Magneto out. They throw a ship at him and knock him out. Metal at Magneto. He's knocked out. Anybody else see a problem with that? I do, just saying. And I guess that was their way of getting the helmet off so Emma Frost could uh, could possess him so he could fight the Inhumans. Or you could just have him be Magneto and say that he would protect mutant kind to his last breath. However, there's a problem with that. See, at the end, and of course I just mentioned that uh, Emma Frost took over Magneto right here as a matter of fact on this page however in this book in number six they have the inhumans go oh wait a second if you had just talked to us and told us we would have let the terrigen mist be destroyed but you didn't talk to us this ladies and gentlemen is what's called a dummy plot it's because you would have to be a dummy for this to have actually happened that nobody had actually talked and said, hey, look, the Terrigen Mists are going ki to kill us if they don't get destroyed, then it, it wouldn't have happened. So for lack of one conversation, which would be an understandable conversation, this entire series happened. This is called a dummy plot. In any show, any book, any movie that has a dummy plot, in my opinion, is automatically bad. Had you had the Inhumans fight for their culture, fight for the Terrigian Mists, then you have a decent book. Then you, even though the Inhumans would then be the bad guys, you at least would have a decent book. But this just turned horrible based on the sole fact that the entire series and all the side issues were bullshit because they didn't have one simple conversation that said, if you don't get rid of the Mists, all the mutants die. So can I recommend Inhumans number six? No, I cannot. Can I recommend this entire series? No, not after that. Just one bit where they had the Inhumans back off because what could have been ended with a simple conversation, the entire series was destroyed.